Adventures of Furry Man. One thing the shows of this era were really good at was letting you know who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. We can see right away by the hat, the mustache, and the attitude he's not a good guy. Our Asian friend here is, you can see how nervous he is about all this. Uh, what is all this? This is where you live. According to this guy, there's a stairway down from the back room of your place into the tunnel. Then another stairway up from the tunnel to the second floor of the old man's house. There's a ladder leading downward from the back room of my place and a stairway leading up to Lu Sung's apartment. There's a tunnel between his place and someone else's. So? We pull this job tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Right? Yes. Don't like these daylight jobs. They're dangerous. But that's the only time. Like I told you, Lu Sung keeps the Kuan Yin Jade under lock and key in his apartment. But tomorrow afternoon, he's invited some newspaper reporters over. Undoubtedly, he'll show them the jade. That will be the time. Their target has a rare jade piece and they want it. They're planning this to make sure nobody gets hurt. Nobody but Lu Sung. Now don't start worrying about him. You said he was going to give it away anyway. I know, but giving it to a museum is a lot different than having it stolen. It ain't going to do nobody any good sitting in a museum. This way you get a chance to lay your hands on a pot full of dough. Enough to you start you and this niece of his off right. Yeah, build on a lie and a major theft. There's a solid foundation for a marriage. And he's marrying the guy's niece after he steals from him. He should write a book about relationships. He could call it How Not to Have Them. Guess who the, re yeah, I agree. Guess who the reporters are that the old man has invited to see the jade. Kuan Yin, goddess of peace. He and his niece Lily are showing it to Clark and Lois, and he has a scoop for them. As a small token of my appreciation for everything this great country, the United States, has done for me and my people, tomorrow at noon, I leave for Washington to present the Kuan Yin to the National Art Museum. Not if our young man and his oily friend have anything to say about it. We'll have a photographer come down the first thing in the morning and get some pictures. There's just one problem. <laughs> Lily isn't going downstairs. The explosion has her on the verge of fainting. Clark, shouldn't we notify the police? Yes. Call Henderson. The telephone is over here. And over here. And over there. And there's some of it up there. Grab it. We've got to take her with us. And do what with her? And going by the look in her eyes, I don't think you're her boyfriend anymore. Lu Sung, what is this? What happened? A bum was thrown through the window. His name is Harry Wong. He also works for the gentleman, so he just blew up his paycheck, too. When that other dude stabs him in the back and makes off with the statue for himself, our boy is going to be in a bit of a bind. Lois and Lu Sung discover the missing Jade and the missing Lily. What happened, Mr. Kent? The Kuan Yin Jade is missing, and so is Mr. Sung's niece. Excuse me, I better go down. <laughs> Why didn't Clark use his x-ray vision to check the room for secret entrances? Because we're only halfway through the episode, obviously. If he did that, we'd wrap things up way too soon and have to fill the extra time with commercials. Nobody wants that. Clark tells Henderson it's bamboo dust, and the only way it could have gotten onto Harry's shirt is if he was handling the figurine. But how does the girl fit into all this? That's the part they can't sort out. Lily, don't touch me. The Kuan Yin belongs to you. You are Lu Sung's only living relative. He had no right giving it to a museum. Thief! No, Lily. The Kuan Yin belongs to you by heritage. I did it only to get money so we could get married and go away. I don't think that's going to happen, Harry. You left your wedding plans down there in the tunnel. You're responsible for this. You said there'd be no trouble. That you'd pay me and go even before the police arrived. Did I know that she was going to be in the room? What did you want to do? Leave her there to tip the cops and spill the whole story? Then pay me and go. I've had enough of this. 
I'll pay you when I get this thing where it's safe. Yeah, and if you let him leave the room with that, you're even dumber than Lily thinks you are. Good is it to me? Then give it back. I'll return it and confess. Too late for that now, sonny boy. Give it back! Sir Hadalot knocks out both Harry and Lily and puts them in the tunnel just as Clark and Inspector Henderson are knocking on Harry's door. So to speak. Now what's his plan? Why is that there? Who plumbed a huge valve down here and what did they intend to do with it? He's going to use it to flood the tunnel and drown the young lovebirds. No one in there. Hey, I hear something. What is it? This shouldn't even require changing to Superman. The trap door is right there in plain sight. Climb down and get them out. No, we paid for that costume and we're gonna use it. Clark excuses himself and runs off. The Kuan Yin! Why, you dirty... Shut up! You'll get the same thing, maybe worse. While he takes Lois hostage and they go downstairs, Superman is working on saving Harry and Lily. Let's summarize so far. We have a tunnel between Harry's apartment and Lusong's. There's an obvious trap door with an obvious handle in the middle of Harry's obvious floor. But it's way too difficult to lift the handle and open the trap door and climb down the ladder. It's much more efficient to tear up the middle of the street. Not only does it make an impressive rescue, it ensures that a fair number of city employees have a job fixing the big hole in the street. What's going on here? Good grief. Inspector, you'd better have someone get down there and shut off that water. I'd do it myself, but I used up all my super energy digging that hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Just then, he sees Lois and starts after her and her abductor. The criminal genius takes her into a blind alley. He's cornered. Suddenly, he wants to make a deal. I'll give up the jade and let her walk out if I go free. Is he kidding? Hold it. We'll have to think it over. He says, you have five minutes. Superman runs off. <laughs> Believe it or not, evil mastermind there didn't know who Superman was. I'm starting to think he's not so smart as he thunk he were. Harry is thoroughly ashamed and ready to testify against his partner, whom we finally learn is named Greer now that he's no longer on camera. Something about his penitence strikes a chord with Henderson, and he declines to arrest Harry. Unfortunately, Lily called off the engagement when she found out her uncle wasn't going to be giving her the expensive jade as a wedding gift. Turns out she was the real gold digger all along. Until next time. Video by Harry Harrison. Audio by Morris Morrison. Wardrobe and makeup by Alice Allison. Your announcer has been Peter Peterson.